Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring Frequency Modulation on the SMA100B. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to create frequency modulated signals using the Rodian Schwartz SMA100B Analog Signal Generator. This presentation assumes a basic knowledge of frequency modulation. If you're not familiar with frequency modulation, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Frequency Modulation before continuing with this presentation. To enable frequency modulation on the SMA100B, we start by clicking on the Modulation tile and then select Frequency Modulation from the menu. Remember that modulation means varying some parameter of the transmitted carrier, so our first step is defining the modulating signal. A number of different modulation sources can be used with the SMA100B. Some of these sources are internal to the instrument and some are external. Internal sources of modulation include the two LF or low frequency generators as well as the noise generator. We'll start by looking at internal FM modulation sources. The SMA contains two internal LF or low frequency generators. You can think of these as being simple function generators that are built into the instrument and which can be used as modulation sources. Each LF generator supports four different shapes. These are sine, pulse, triangle, and trapezoid. The configuration parameters will be different depending on which shape is chosen. Let's show how to generate a simple FM modulated signal by enabling FM modulation and then selecting LF generator 1 as our modulation source. In the Sources tab, we can leave the default LF generator setting of a 1 kHz sine wave. If needed, FM deviation can be configured as well. All that's left now is to turn on RF and the SMA will be producing a basic FM modulated signal. It might be helpful to pause for a moment to explain deviation. We'll use an FM signal with a deviation of 1 kHz. The modulation source will be the LF generator, producing a sine wave with a frequency of 1 Hz. If we look at the generated signal on a spectrum analyzer, we see the carrier deviates 1 kHz above and 1 kHz below the center frequency every 1 second. Increasing the deviation would increase how far the carrier deviates from the nominal center frequency and increasing the frequency would cause the carrier to move back and forth between these upper and lower limits more quickly. In addition to using the internal LF generator, another way the SMA can generate frequency modulated signals is by using an external low frequency signal as a modulation source. This external source is then used by the SMA to create the modulated RF output. In this case, the input or modulating waveform does not need to be regular or periodic. The SMA has two connectors for external modulation sources, external 1 and external 2. For each external connector, we can specify the coupling, AC or DC, as well as the impedance. If you're unsure about which connector to use, the Show Connector button will open up a graphical view of the SMA with a corresponding connector highlighted. Let's end with a brief summary. The Rodian Schwartz SMA100B Analog Signal Generator can be used to create frequency modulated signals using either internal or external modulation sources. The available internal sources include two independent LF or low frequency generators, which can provide a variety of different shapes such as sine, pulse, etc. In this case, we also can specify the frequency of the modulating signal and the FM deviation. In addition, the SMA also has a configurable internal noise generator that can be used as a modulation source. And finally, external modulation sources can be connected to either or both of the SMA's two external BNC connectors. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Frequency Modulation on the SMA100B. If you'd like to learn more about modulation, signal generation, or the SMA100B, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.